Why the fuck does this exist? Hey, oh, daddy -os, uh, welcome back to another edition of Storytime, now in 3D. So today's story is about how I royally fucked up a first date. So grab your bifocals and uh, get prepared to see this shit. So our story begins on a hot July day. The birds were blue, the sky was chirping, and that rash was still strangely there. I woke up to the sound of screaming children, just like normal, and then I remembered. Fuck, I have a date today. So a girl asked me out prior, prior to this week, and she asked me to go to the beach with her, and me being the natural stud muffin I am, I replied to her with, Sure, okay, um, I, I, I like beaches, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip ahead a couple hours, because this part is kind of boring. Dude, was fucking worse and nothing interesting here. Eventually, uh, I meet up with, their fam with her and her family, and they take me with them to the beach, and the car ride was surprisingly not awkward. I mean, everyone was really open and didn't really seem to give a shit about anything, so I mean, that's always good, right? We get to the beach, we set up, and the event begins! And let me say, that this was a really good day today. It was sunny, the water was warm, and I didn't look like Chewbacca, so I mean, that's always a positive. So I began romancing my lady up, you know, uh, just sex me up, Scotty, uh, s fuck me up, Johnny, uh, uh, screw me hard, Richard, uh, I'm running out of an L. We were both really enjoying ourselves. This was turning out to be a great date, uh, that's Rhyme by my mixtape, uh, drops April... never. And the other thing was that we were going to stay there very late, so her family suggested that I stay at their place that night. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I did assume that uh, something might have happened, but at the same time, I, I was just wishful thinking. But, on the other hand, it seemed like my lady was thinking how she could sex me up, Scott. It started to get a bit later into the evening, but since this was the summer, you know, late basically means like 9 when it actually starts getting dark. So, it, it was still pretty sunny out, but it, it was getting late, and I wanted to do a bit more swimming in the lake, and, you know, it was pretty wavy today, so I was gonna try and body surf. That ended fucking horribly. What ended up happening was, I was a bit closer to the shore than I should have been, and I dove a bit too deep. I ended up smashing my head and bending my neck on the sea floor. It, it was really bad. So almost immediately after that, her family started driving me to an immediate care, because it was pretty bad what had happened to me. And, you know, we tried to get to the immediate care, but... It was after hours, so the place was fucking closed, so we couldn't go in there. So we ended up calling an ambulance to come and grab me up, and might I say, it's a great way to end a first date by, you know, fucking getting your head smashed in, having everyone worried sick about you, and then being hauled away in an ambulance. It's just a fantastic way to end a first date. Like, the absolute best part about the ambulance ride was that um, there was an EMT on there who was about my age and <laughs> I started romancing her up as well and the thing is we actually hit off pretty well so I mean that I don't know if that makes me a horrible person but uh, it definitely happened so yeah eventually we got to the hospital it only was like a 10 minute ride cuz like from where the beach was and how far we traveled to get to an immediate care um, a hospital wasn't too far away from where we were, and we got there within, like, ten minutes. Like, as we entered the hospital, they, like, put a cast around my neck, and me and the EMT that I romanced up, we said our solemn goodbyes, you know, uh, just, mm, uh, Romeo, uh, good old Romeo and Juliet, uh, it's funny, cause, uh, the girl I was going on a date with at that time, uh, we ended up going out for a year, so. So yeah, like, I ended up staying at that hospital for about, like, five hours after I arrived at, like, nine. Um, I believe we left at, like, one. I hadn't eaten anything. I was getting tested on, like, every, like, two hours or something like that. My mom showed up about, like, 30 minutes after I had gotten in there. And it, it was not a fun experience afterward. So yeah, after that, uh, I had to wear a neck brace for, like, the entirety of the rest of the week. 
and it, it was just not not very fun, not very enjoyable. I couldn't sleep at all that week. Holy shit! So yeah, like during that week of me wearing the cast, I got to talk to uh, my lady friend that I was going out with, and uh, she she uh, seemed pretty freaking worried. Like I mean, she didn't look it at all at the time, but you know, it, it was really nice to hear that she was pretty worried about me and. Uh, to be quite honest, uh, I felt pretty fucking stupid afterwards, because what I did was really fucking stupid. And then we ended up going out for a year, so, yeah, that's the story of how I broke my neck and probably had the longest running girlfriend I've ever had. Uh, I hope you like and enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys around. Uh, thanks for watching.